Hello everybody, ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Jobs, and today I'm going to be playing more AU Pikachu. AU Pikachu. No, it's just AU. Uh. I wish I had done that sooner. I was team had told me to kill that one. I was supposed to kill that uh death knight. And now uh, I was supposed to kill the Oh, okay. I get it. Hmm. Okay. I'm making progress. It must have been painful for the team to watch me run around and run around like a headless chicken. Ow. And it, it's back. Fake Death Knight! <laughs> My ass is still does good damage! <laughs> Strike Trigger! The power of Strike Triggers! I want to remember that for when I make my quests. <laughs> why? Why why would team do that? It made me think I had bad karma. 
it, it seems to me think I had bad karma. I like did the things, and in the end, I ended up uh, restarting. Why? Ugh. He must have felt like trolling. Yep. <laughs> and that was a carryover secret. Oh, not what I intended. Well, let's do something about that. Now I have collected all the keys. So will I get the peak of base dust? Yeah, I'll just tank it because I'm not going all the way around. Besides, the door is like right there. Let, let's say before we do something drastic here. I wait in anchor. Oh crap. <laughs> Never would I have expected such a grand treasure, an adventure, an exhilaration, danger, mystery of all voyages. Ahoy there, sailor! But wait, what was this? The call of a siren? I adore the water, and it's endless blue. Such a simple perception of the deep, and yet mesmerizing words from the head of a figure. My dearest Callie, your first words to me will still resonate to this very day. But the ocean swallows many darknesses and vile features only for them to reach surface and climb about it on their own. Tell me, Zello Phoenix, how do you stare in the face of darkness with a straight grin? To see what the widen and snap its jaws around your neck, would you dare it to bite? I dared once, just once, that was enough to humble me, for I believe in second chances and I want another shot. I cross any line to attain my goal, regardless of what label I incur. What do you want to live with your life's dream, Jello Phoenix? Do you taste the crisp of air of, crisp air of adventure, eh? Or do you want to wallow alone in the whiny future, eh? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I got, I got, I got, God damn it. Mm. Duke.
I think every time I attack, he attacks me. Just about. God doesn't like to stay in the, I mean, stay up close for very long. <gasps> no! Wow, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Okay, maybe I should try going all in this time instead of trying to keep my distance. I don't think keeping my distance works. Supposed to kill that guy? He does that dash attack and even. It's, li it's like trying to hit his after image. Absolutely wrecked by Duke. How many times have I died to Duke? Duke is like wrecking my shit so hard. I didn't think Duke would just... I think I figured it out! Or not! I thought it. He tends to rush in a lot more when I'm in his- Is it line of sight?! Does he just a dash attack when I'm in his line of sight? Oh, <laughs> 
Bullet of Bullets! It's a battle of bullets now! It was a battle of bullets! I probably, I probably could have avoided that if I just hookshot it. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute! He did that swing! He was like right in my face and I didn't take any damage. Could it be? This sounds like a very- I'm already thinking of a very dumb strategy, but... This might be- this might work. Okay, so that doesn't protect me from the bombs, but it might protect me from the stupid slash! Sonic Slash! Sonic Swipe! Sonic Slash! <laughs> the Canadian is trying to kill me! <laughs> I think Good Duke is like Dan's dad or something. <laughs> I'm fighting Dan's father. <laughs> I am fighting the father of Space Man Dan, and now we know where Dan gets his tricks. <laughs> he's like, he's got the Cockney voice, along with the, along with the Canadian accent. I think I figured it out. I haven't. Maybe if I had some arrows or my bombs or whatever.
Okay. Okay. I've had enough of dying 5,000 times. Let, let's let's not get wrecked that badly ever again. Getting wrecked that badly. Oh, that made zero sense. I ain't never got man. I ain't never got messed up that bad before. Like I'm trying to fight the stand again. God. Oh, wait, could I have? I mean, Zephyr. Okay. I'm okay with this. I am going to get myself a super bomb. Some arrows. Then I'll go back up there and fight the Duke. Cause no. <laughs> Getting wrecked. Getting absolutely and utterly wrecked that badly that don't sit well with me. It doesn't. Get me a stack of arrows. Quick refill. Very, very instant. Actually, you know what? I'll buy me a goddamn shield as well, actually. But then that phase too. I got lucky enough to reach phase two, and oh god, bullets. Bullets everywhere. A bullet of bullets. It provides better protection than that old wimpy shield. I managed to get my magic shield at a better price. And then there's the potion. I am tempted to very... I am very well tempted to buy a potion right about now. But I want to see if I can beat the Duke without uh, using a potion, honestly. And now let's go ahead and get ourselves that, uh, that one super bomb that we can apparently carry. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fantastic. Damn it. Okay then. Try not to get ourselves killed before getting back to Blade Desk. Getting back to Blade Desk. Now, this ought to be sufficiently. This ought to count me sufficiently prepared. Alright, let's save a game. I am sufficiently prepared now to go to war with the Duke. The Duke of Canada is what I would like to call this guy. But no, his name is Duke Gallagher. A man with a very unique Canadian accent. It just happens to be the father of Space Man Dan. It did develop with the scenario, apparently. Probably. Probably. That, that's my only assessment. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, that's right, I still got my bombs.
Yeah, I went over here and got me a super. <laughs> that ended well. <laughs> that that ended well. That that ended well. I am not gonna give up on killing this son of a bitch. I'll just drop a super bomb on his face. You no, know, first thing, as soon as the fight starts. As soon as the fight starts, see if I can get him full full length with a super bomb. Hopefully, cut the first phase down a little bit. All right, got got the first strike. Terrible strategy. And of course, I'm, since I'm still in the middle of a call, I'll try this again later. Because... <laughs> why, Duke? Why did you all of a sudden have to crank out the super speed? It's like I'm fighting Benza 2 all over again. I know I said I compared... I know I compared it with Stan, but he's not that bad. But I feel like I'm fighting Benza 2 all over again.